Thank you, Father, that I am washed by the cleansing of your word, Ephesians 5, 26. For you have saved me, not because of the righteous things I have done, but you washed away my sins, giving me new birth and a new life, Titus 3, 5. So today I anoint my body. I offer my body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, Romans 12, 1. For my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 6, 19. So today I will put on the full armor of God so I can take my stand against the devil's schemes, Ephesians 6, 11. For God, you know the plans you have for me, plans to prosper me and not to harm me, plans to give me a hope and a future, Jeremiah 29, 11. And God, you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. So I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. So today I anoint my head, I anoint my mind, and I take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, Ephesians 6, 17. And I declare that I have the mind of Christ, 1 Corinthians 2, 16. So I will set my mind on things above, not on earthly things, Colossians 3, 2. And I will take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. For whatever is true, whatever is noble, and right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable, and excellent, or praiseworthy, I will think about these things, Philippians 4, 8. Because your ways are higher than my ways, your thoughts are higher than my thoughts, Isaiah 55, verse 9. So I will not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of my mind, Romans 12, 2. And I will keep my head in all situations, 2 Timothy 4, 5. And Lord, I anoint my eyes. God, I will not set any evil thing before my eyes, Psalm 101, verse 3. For I have made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman, Job 31, verse 1. So I will live by faith and not by sight, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. O Lord, open my eyes so I may see, 2 Kings 6, 17. I anoint my ears. Father, as your child, I will pay attention to what you say. I will listen carefully to your words, Proverbs 4, verse 20. As one of your sheep, I hear your voice, and you know me, and I will follow you, John 10, verse 27. I will listen to counsel and accept discipline, that I may be wise the rest of my days, Proverbs 19, verse 20. I will be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to become angry, James 1, 19. For faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, verse 17. So today I anoint my mouth. I will taste and see that the Lord is good, Psalm 34, 8. And I will eat the word. It is as sweet as honey, Ezekiel 3, verses 1 through 3. And out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks, Luke 6:45. My mouth will be filled with laughter and my tongue with songs of joy. Psalm 126, verse 2. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. Psalm 19, verse 14. And I will not let any unwholesome talk come out of my mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up. Ephesians 4:29. Your word goes out from my mouth, and it will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what you desire and achieve the purpose for which you sent it. Isaiah 55, verse 11. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, 21. Lord, I anoint my shoulders so that I can carry others' burdens and in this way fulfill the law of Christ, Galatians 6, verse 2. And 
with my head up and my shoulders back, I will be strong and very courageous. Joshua 1 verse 7. And I will cast all my cares on you, Lord, for you will sustain me. Psalm 55 verse 22. I anoint my arms for your service, Lord, and I will take up the shield of faith so I can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Ephesians 6 verse 16. He trains my hands for battle. He strengthens my arms to draw a bronze bow. Psalm 18 verse 34. I anoint my hands. I wash my hands of sin and purify my heart. James 4 verse 8. And I will lift up holy hands. 1 Timothy 2 verse 8. And I will place my hands on the sick and they will get well. Mark 16 verse 18. The Lord will bless me in all my harvest and in all the work of my hands. Deuteronomy 16, verse 15. Lord, I anoint my heart, and so I put on the breastplate of righteousness. Ephesians 6, verse 14. And Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51, verse 10. I will guard my heart, for everything I do flows from it. Proverbs 4, 23. And I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, verse 11. Forgive me of my sins as I forgive those who have sinned against me. Matthew 6, 12. I will not let a root of bitterness grow up in me and cause me trouble. Hebrews 12, verse 15. And I will not be anxious about anything. But I receive the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. Philippians 4, verses 6 through 7. Lord, I anoint my stomach, and I will stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around my waist. Ephesians 6, 14. And out of my inmost being, I will rejoice. Proverbs 23, 16. Lord, I anoint my legs. I will run and not grow weary. I will walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, verse 31. He who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Proverbs 13, 20. And Lord, I anoint my feet. My feet are fitted with the gospel of peace. Ephesians 6, 15. And how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Romans 10, verse 15. And every place where I set my feet will be mine. Deuteronomy 11, verse 24.